sorry, it's DJ. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Simply Marps Maestro Olaso. And here we go! Kumusta po mga magulang, mga kaguro, at mga mag-aaral? Again, welcome to our Mathematics 5. Tayo po ay nasa week number 4. Ayan, para sa ating second quarter. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng inyong pagtutok at pagsubaybay sa ating mga video lessons. Kapag hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe, hit na po ang subscribe natin. Then, huwag kakalimutan hit the bell button at click lang po natin yung all. At pwede po natin sabihin or i-forward sa ating mga kakilala. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ako po ang inyong Simply Marbs Maestro Olaso at tayo po ay nasa Uulitin ko, week number 4 ng ating second quarter. Kaya, ano pang hinihintay natin? Tara na! Matuto! At yan, ang ating week number 4 talks about multiplying decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digit whole numbers or with factors up to two decimal places. So, pag-uusapan natin kung paano nga ba ang pag-multiply ng decimals by a factor of a, a whole number, two digit number, or one digit number, or another decimal number up to two decimal places. Alam nyo, napakadali ng lesson natin ngayong week number four. Kaya, ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's have the first one, the review. Balikan natin. Do you know how to multiply whole numbers? Siguro naman. For example, what is the product of 123 and 42? From the word product, it's simply the operation is multiplication. So just multiply 123 times 42. Naalala pa ba? Para tayo nagbabalik lang sa mga previous years nyo. Nung kaya ay nasa grade 4, grade 3, grade 2. So, paano nga ba ang tamang pag-multiply kapag ikaw ay magmumultiply ng 2-digit number? Yes. Actually, there are so many ways on how to get the product of 123 and 42. No? You can use the partial product method. You can use the... Uh, you can use the lattice method. No? So there are so many ways. So, kasi yung 123 times 42 ay parang, uh, it's a partial product of 123 times 2 and 123 times 40. So, gawin natin yung pinaka common use na method. Ayan. So, let's start with the ones place by multiplying by 2. 123 times 2, we have... 246. So, paano ba yan, sir? Nakalimutan ko na po yan. So, 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 1 equals 2. That's why it becomes 246. Next is multiplying by the tens digit 4. So, 123 times 4 equals 492. So, paano po yan, sir? 4 times 3 equals 12. Bring down to carry 1. Sir, bakit po nilagay ninyo sa pangalawa? Ulitin natin, we are multiplying the tens digit. That's why we need to put the first product on the tens digit. Kasi dito po sa unang digit na ito, ang nakalagay po dyan ay 0. Kasi nga, we are multiplying 123 times 40. No? So, automatic na the first digit is 0. Kaya you have to put 3 times 4 equals 12 on the second digit or on the tenth digit. Kaya naging 2, carry 1, 4 times 2 plus 1 equals 9, 1 times 4 equals 4. Then add all the partial products, 246 plus 492 
is equal to 5,166. Okay? So, paano? Add mo lang yan. So, that is the answer or that is the product of 123 and 42. So, okay na tayo, no? So, huwag kakalimutan ito. Bakit ito ang nireview natin? Kasi kung paano tayo mag-multiply ng whole numbers, same process lamang ang ating gagawin kapag tayo ay mag-multiply ng decimal numbers. Let's go! Again, we are multiplying decimals, no? Decimals up to decimal places by a factor of a whole number and another decimal with up to two decimal places. Let's have, I will give you five examples. Let's have the first one. What is the product of one and 2342? Okay. So, the same ba yung kanina? Almost the same. Okay. Saan lang tayo nagka-deferensya? We use now the decimal number up to two decimal places. So, kanina 123 yan. So, ngayon ang ginamit natin is 1 and 2300. So, let's have the multiplication. 1 and 2300 times 42. Take note of this. When we are multiplying a decimal numbers, we are just like multiplying a whole number. Tagalogin ko, pag nagmumultiply tayo ng decimal, para din tayo nagmumultiply ng whole number. So ignore first the decimal point. That's the first step. Ignore first the decimal point. So wag mo muna pansinin yung decimal point. You are just like multiplying 123 times 42. So katulad kanina, ayan, yung solution. Same lamang yung solution natin, di ba? So nakuha natin yung 5,166. Since we are talking of decimal na yan, natapos ka na, para kang nag-multiply ng whole number, eto na. The next step is look at the first factor, 1 and 23. Hundreds. How many decimal places? Yes, it's two decimal places. While the other factor, by the way, ha, ang sinasabi kong factor are the numbers being multiplied. These two numbers are called factors. Okay. The second factor, is there any decimal places? No, there is no decimal place. Now, since we have only two decimal places, don't forget, to put also the decimal point in the final answer. So we are going to put the decimal point to decimal places then. So paano na? So what's the final answer? So we have 51 and 66 hundredths. Kasi two decimal places. From here, 1, 2, dun mo din ilalagay ang decimal point. Nagkaintindihan. Let's have second example. What if you are going to multiply 54 and 23 hundredths by 7 tenths? Okay. Since multiply, we will use again operation of multiplication. Now, this example is an example of multiplying both decimal numbers. First factor two decimal places. Second factor, one decimal place. Again, ulitin ko, you are just like multiplying a whole number. So ignore muna yung decimal point. Just multiply 5, 4, 2, 3, or 5,423 times 7 as parang whole number. So let's multiply. So what's your answer? You can post this and you have to try it. Para mamaya, you can check your answer. Pause it now. Ayan, kung piniplay mo na, ibig sabihin, you are done with your answer. So, ano ang sagot mo? Ayan, so 3 times 7, take down 1, carry 2, so we have 21. 2 times 7, 14, 16, carry, carry 1. 4 times 7, 28 plus 1, 29, 9, carry 2. 5 times 7, 35 plus 2 equals 3, 7, 9, 6, 1. So, ayan. Then, Yun ang sagot kapag whole number. Pero since we are talking about uh, decimal numbers na, so how many places do we have on the first factor again? 
Yes, we have two decimal places. On the second factor is one decimal place. Now, it total mo all the decimal places. So we have two plus one. So how many? We have three decimal places. So kung, kung ilan lahat ang decimal places mo, dun mo ilalagay ang decimal point. So put the decimal point, one, two, three. So the final answer is 37 and 961,000. Nagkaka tayo. Let's have another example, the third one. If you multiply 3 and 14 hundreds by 84 hundreds, what is the answer? Yan ang ating hahanapin. From the word multiply, again, we will use multiplication. 3 and 14 hundreds times 84 hundreds. This is an example of multiplying decimals by decimals up to two decimal places. So pareho, two decimal places, no? So again, ignore first the decimal point. So para ka nagmumultiply lang ng 314 times 84. So let's multiply the, the first partial product. So we have 16, get 1, 5, 12. Then the second partial by 8, so 4 times 8, 32, bring down 2, get 3, 8, plus 3, 11, carry 1, 24 plus 1 equals 25. So we have now the sum, we have 2, 6, 3, 7, 6. Then count the decimal places, 2. The second factor has 2 decimal places. So all in all, how many? We have 4 decimal places. So put now the decimal point, 4 decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, going to the left. One, two, three, four. So we have now two and six thousand three hundred seventy six ten thousand. As soon as I ako, ulitin ko. Pag maglalagay kayo ng decimal point starting from the right digit going to the left. Yan one, two, three, four. So that it. Tapos pag check mo, pag tining ng yung sagot mo, four decimal places na ba ang aking nagawa that is how we do it okay now let's have multiply 26 and 5 tenths by 4. so this is another common mistake no so i will give you para hindi na kayo magkakamali so 26 and 5 tenths times 4 so an example of a decimal number with only one decimal place and multiplying one digit number so again ignore the decimal point or you are just like multiplying 265 times 4 okay so we have 20 carry 2 24 plus 2 26 bring down 6 carry 2 2 times 4 8 plus 2 we have 10 so we have 1060 since we have one decimal place tapos yung another yung other factor i know decimal place so ibig sabihin we will put the decimal point, one decimal place. So one going to the left. So nandito dapat ang point. So dapat ang sagot is 106.0. So since the answer is 0, 0.0, that means the final answer is a whole number. So the final answer is 106. Okay? Pag pera naman yan, walang problema yan kahit maglagay ka ng 0, 0.00. Okay, walang problema yan. But since we are talking about whole number lang, not a money, so you have to get, pag nakakuha ka ng product na 0, 0, 0, 0.000 at maraming 0, 0, 0 pa yan, it means that the final answer should be a whole number. Okay, so let's have the last one. O, diba? Ang bilis lang natin. What is the product of 500 by 300. Napaka simple lang, no? But since this is an example again of two decimals up to two decimal places, okay? Pero kung iisipin mo, pag inignore mo yung decimal point, para kang nagmumultiply lamang ng 5 times 3. So what is 5 times 3? As simple as 15, okay? Pero napaka simple, pero ang daming nagkakamali. Then, don't forget now, since may mga decimal point tayo, first factor, how many places? We have two decimal places. Also, the second factor has two decimal places. So, ilan lahat? Yes, we have four 
decimal places. So, ang problema ko, sir, paano yan? Dalawang decimal, di uh, dalawang digit lang ang sagot. So, again, paano ko gagawin ang four decimal places? Do you have any idea about it? Yes, narinig siya. Don't forget, kapag dalawang digit, so maglalagay ka lang or mag add ka lang ng zero. So, we have from left, we have one, two, three, four. Para maging apat, maglagay ka lang ng dalawang zero before 15. Since wala siyang whole number, so just put zero. Na ang ibig sabihin, there is no whole number. So we have one, two, three, four decimal places na. So the final answer is 15, 10 thousands. Okay? Did you understand? If not, go back, replay this video. Yan. And that concludes our week number four. But before that, again, for our final activity, syempre, i-shout out natin. Maraming nagpapashout out sa atin. So, maraming maraming salamat sa mga taga-panood, mga taga-subaybay ko. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Thank you very much. Ito na, Elrich Jane, maraming salamat din sa iyo. Elishel Magora, Jan Cedric Aringo, Radio Bantambo, we have Kian de la Cruz, Be Bezeliza de Silio, we have also Farhana, again, we have Farhana Kasi, Veronica Florentino, Faith Jazz Aquemo, Ash Patakpan, Lumilin, Working Mom, Hi hello po sa inyo, maraming salamat po sa inyong pa panonood, pagkutok po. We have also Aubrey Ignacio, hello, Marie Andre Metokua, Luigi Kalimag, and Medio Jr. Navarro. Ito si It's Rihanna Plays Y2. Hi, It's Rihanna Plays Y2. Siya po yung unang uh, nanood po ng aking episode number 3. Thank you, Rihanna. And we have also Nanay Wonders. Hello po, Nanay Wonders. Then, hindi ko po mag <laughs> Ito po, hello po sa iyo. Okay, hindi ko po ma-translate po yung inyong name. We have Andy Tablante. Hello, Andy. Yung request mo, Andy, no? Hindi ko pa natutupad. Clementine Sahor. We have Rochelle Bragas. Ayan. And also, we have Chase and Kali Whitey. Marivy Calapre. Ina Mison. Stephanie Ancheta Vlogs. Hello sa iyo, Stephanie. Sabria Sheen Kapati. We have Chase and Khalid YT. Princess Angel Arong. Hello, Princess. My students from Rizal Elementary School of Five Region. Ayan. Senko Comando, May Flor Labrador, She Pi. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panunod. Thank you very much. Also, shout out sa aking mga students, Five Eagle, Five Region of Rizal Elementary School. Ayan. So, again, and that concludes our week number four. Salamat po. Happy learning! Sorry, it's DJ. Yeah.